Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is the 700th installment of the Call of Duty series and um, welcome to my unwanted opinion. Alright guys, what is going on? My name is Zach Wallace and welcome to a brand new series, a brand new show that I'm going to be doing, um, which is called Unwanted Opinion, where I talk about things that you guys don't want to hear or care about and um, yeah, let's see how we go. Today, Treyarch have dropped the live stream, the reveal for Black Ops 4 and there's a whole fuck ton to get through today. So basically what I've done is I've written down a lot of notes and I'm just going to do a bit, a bit of a recap if you guys are too lazy to go and spend two hours of your time watching the live stream. Um, here I am to save the day again. Hello. So basically like I said I'm going to do my best to recap this live stream go through everything that I've written down and touch on some notes here and there, give my own opinions on certain things here and there that I feel that need to be talked about. Um, if not, then pfft, I don't care. Click off the video. First off, no campaign. The guys over at Trek have confirmed that there is no set campaign. Um, there's no notice or there's no insight if it would be put in as a DLC later in the game's release. And what they have done is done set narratives in each game mode and each specialist. So zombies, fucking, I don't know, um, each fucking specialist, you know the specialist people, the ones that have the powers and superpowers and shit, um, they're gonna have their own little story, their own little backstory, fucking missions and shit to do, um, because that's, that's what we needed. Well done. Now Black Ops 4 has been called Black Ops 2.5, but as I like to call it, Black Ops 3.96863215. Basically it's Black Ops 3 without any boosting. Um, you've got the same kind of specialists, the same kind of abilities here and there, same kind of mechanics. And that's also what I want to touch on the next point. There's no wall running or thrust jumping, thus making this game 100 percent boots on the ground. As always you've got fucking specialists, you've got the same kind of shit as Black Ops 3, each one's gonna have unique weapons and um, that's the end of that fucking note. It's the same fucking thing as always, good stuff. Now one thing I really went into detail about was the weapons. They've done a whole lot of fucking work apparently, more work combined, fucking Black Ops 1, 2 and 3 combined. They've done more work on this game itself than those three. Basically, like they said, weapons, hot barrels, smoke. Good touch. That's nice. That's good. Muzzle brakes light up the room, as they should. It's kind of how light works. If it's dark and there's light, it'll light up a bit of the room. Good work. Each weapon has unique attachments. Now, this was pretty fucking cool. Um, instead of, like, create a class, you know, fucking whatever, you, whatever it was, fucking... I'm just going to call it create a class. You could attach any attachments to any weapon that you could and wanted to. Um, anything that took your fancy, tickled your nuts, um, you could do that. But now you cannot, I don't think. Um, and I say I don't think because I don't know. <laughs> Each weapon has their own set of attachments that you can go and I don't know if you can upgrade them or not. Um, good stuff. They have their own attachments. True predictive recoil system. Now this, if this doesn't get you hyped, I don't know what will. A true predictive recoil system. <laughs> I'm not going to touch on that because I don't fucking know either. Um, I don't know, who cares. Now the next thing they touched on was the health mechanic in the game. Um, basically you have a health bar, it's at 100 I assume, and it goes down to 0. If it hits 0 you're dead. What they have added is a manual button. I don't know what kind of button it's going to be. It could be... It could be this one, it could be this one, it could be this one, it could be... This one, it could be this one, it could be these ones, it could be these ones. Who knows? What a surprise. Oh man, the anticipation is killing me. <laughs> so basically what they're saying here is you're going to have a dedicated button to manually heal yourself um, during combat. So then you can stay alive longer, shoot those people. Alright, the next exciting thing that we want to talk about is fucking zombies. Zombies is something that I'm looking forward to personally because in World War II I wasn't a fan all too much. So hopefully this one can change my opinion. Now right off the bat they're giving us fucking three day one maps. Um, which is very very fucking cool because I think they only usually do one. Stop up your game cunts, fucking hell. Um, basically, I'm going to go through the little cutscene kind of thing. Um, and um, explain how things go. So, new game, new zombies mode, new characters. We've got four new characters, don't know their names, one of them's called... Um, anyway. 
So we enter this little cutscene and it looks like some Skyrim looking shit. These people are like, get a hey, gone, take a whiff of this shit. And then suddenly something happens and suddenly it is 27 BC and they're thrust into some fucking kind of Roman looking shit. Um, this is a bad man. He releases some juju and now everyone is zombies. So that's nap number one. And they introduced something called custom mutations, which sounds sick, doesn't it? This is going to allow you to change the zombie's speed, the zombie's health, um, your ability to train the zombies, play a damage, how much damage you can take, the type of whatever. I don't know. I just wrote down type because he said type. I don't know what type of what. I don't know. Um, and then basically how often the fucking box functions or some shit. I don't know. Maybe how much it costs. Maybe how frequently or infrequently it disappears into the fucking Neverland. Some shit about a stamp system, which um, fucking just tells you guys what was achieved and what settings, because we all love to see that kind of shit, man. I mean, it'll probably be fucking cool in a hundred years, I don't know. Uh, coolings is another thing that they were introducing into this game. Coolings are basically like create a challenge, you get prizes and blah blah blah, um, all that kind of shit, you know. Basically like fucking, like daily challenges, that kind of shit, probably. Basically this zombies mode is going to have a tutorial, a bot support in case you're playing on solo like me and have no friends, um, where the AI can take control of the other three characters and help you out. Um, a new fucking thing called zombie rush. They didn't fucking touch up on that really whatsoever. If they did, I wasn't listening because I was bored out of my mind. All right, the next thing that they showed us was the second map called Voyage of Despair, um, which is the second map of the fucking day run release or some shit. And basically this one is on the Titanic. Mm -hmm. So basically I'm gonna take you guys to the cutscene here. Um, shit happens, this dude here is pickpocketing this per This person gets a key. Oh no, they've gotten caught. Ha! Juju. Now I'm dead and uh, so are these guys and this is now the second one in the day run release. Now you gotta survive the zombies. Now one thing I will add is the third map. I'm pretty sure this is a day run release but it's Blood of the Dead. They hid this little cat scene and um, it's Mob of the Dead so I'm assuming it's either a, me a remake or a fucking sequel. But it's called Blood of the Dead, you know they, they changed the word blood from mob. And now it's mob, it's it's blood of the dead now. And now I guess the final thing that lots of people are interested in is the battle royale mode. So I'm gonna talk about that. He said that it's 1500 times bigger than Nuketown, which I guess is pretty big. Don't know why he used Nuketown as a fucking example. They're gonna be introducing land, sea, and air vehicles, which is pretty fucking cool because I don't know anything else that has done that besides PUBG and H1Z1 with land vehicles. Basically, it's introducing every character, every sort of weapons, you know, you're going to have people from other games, other previous Call of Duty games into this one, and zombies people, and zombies weapons. Don't know how many players there's going to be, probably a hundred. That's kind of a standard, I guess. Let me know if you're going to buy this or not. Um, you can pre-order it now and get access to a private beta. Um, if you're not going to buy it, why? Why not? Let me know. I'm curious. But not really fuckers. Hopefully this video can give you some kind of outlook on the game uh, instead of just watching it from the trailer itself and assuming like I did that it was the same shit that we've fucking done a hundred years from now. Um, and then I watched the live stream and they said different stuff, you know, which changed my opinion and my thought process and my mindset of the game itself. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is a new series um, where I'm going to be doing gaming news because um, this, 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 this channel was a fucking gaming channel and then I stopped playing games so now I'm going to try to get back into it. So um, this is how I'm going to do it. Just have a good day, good night, or wherever the fuck you're from. Uh, my name has been Zach Waters and thank you for listening to my unwanted opinion.